is that time of year and it is a great problem to have but streams are going to get moved out around a little bit here and there for hunting season this looks like the best day of the week to hunt that meaning in real life so that's the reason for the stream being one hour earlier than normal we'll get done at four o'clock and we can head up and go for a hunt this evening so i saw somebody asking what is the ambusher pack the ambusher pack dlc has three items first the marlin 1894 44 lever action rifle and i probably should turn on my hud so we can actually see what's going on also there is the takedown recurve this thing can not only attach any of the bow sights including the range fighting sight it also fires compound bow arrows which can be nice for kind of consolidating loadouts and finally the electronic color which maybe we can kind of demonstrate a little bit with the turkeys up here see if we can bring them in and get one with a recurve so the calling range on said electronic collar is 200 meters. We gotta be inside of that to bring these guys in. What's going on, Clayton? Big fan of the time change? I'm not gonna lie. Starting at 2 two o'clock instead of 3 o'clock, I do kind of like, you know, getting it going sooner. I will say, though, as per, you know, any stream other than the typical Monday uh, 3 o'clock start. Oh, that's gonna get annoying fast. I was recording classic and just barely got everything done in time. Anytime I'm streaming on like Fridays and recording or if we have a different stream time, I'm always like last second getting the video done. Are we going to see IRL duck hunts this season? Uh, never say never. Duck season here in PA just started on Saturday and I wouldn't know that except my sister's fiance was duck hunting and I know he shot some. He's invited me to duck hunt before. So, if everything works out, I think there's a chance we could do that. Fish and Wild Listen sounds good. Great one soon. Hey, I was thinking, Kermit. So, I was going to go to Leighton Lake. Uh, that was my original plan. But then, to be honest, I grabbed the background of the thumbnail for today's stream, and it was Silver Ridge Peaks, and I thought, you know what? We could shoot some bison with this thing. We could shoot some Rocky Mountain Elk. Might be kind of fun. And I brought the 4570, just as maybe a little bit of a comparison. My goodness. I'm about to shoot one of these with a gun. <laughs> I don't want to sit and listen to this for another five minutes. Do I have the range finding sight? I don't. I guess we'll deal with it. Internet's being funky, no worries. What's up, Relic? I shall lurk and shoot my bow. Sounds good. That turkey's getting on your nerves. I know. It's, it's a little on the annoying side. I legit, do we have, nope, recurve's only option. What's up, ZBG, doing good, how about you? Been watching your stuff for a long time, love your videos. I've actually learned a lot about this game from you, that's awesome, man. My primary goal with pretty much any video is teaching others how to play the game, so always cool to hear that that is being accomplished. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> Getting tired of listening to that already. At least I can watch some live before my practice. There's a little advantage to streaming earlier today. I mean. Nice. Hello? <laughs> there it is. Feels like that hits really high when hit fired. What's up, Shane? I have earlier asked. What? Got a pipe old croc while watching the Steelers game. There you go. How about that Steelers game? Good lord. Took 12 years off my life. What's your opinion on starting the bow hunt IRL? I would recommend any hunter getting the bow hunting. If you're if you're someone who primarily hunts, you know, with a rifle or a shotgun or whatever, hunting with a bow and learning how to effectively hunt with a bow is only going to make you a better gun hunter. You're gonna learn more about like, you know, how to move with your clothes, how to, you know, kind of gauge a deer's body language because when you have to get a deer inside of like 30 yards to make a, a clean ethical shot, you really learn a lot about how to, you know, maneuver. Because rarely are you set up in the perfect position. Deer have a tendency to come in behind you from the opposite way you expect. Just They just have a way about making it difficult. So even if for no other reason than that, I would recommend getting into it and learning how to do it. But it is the most rewarding way to hunt. I mean... I shot my first buck with a bow on film last year. I'd killed one buck with a bow prior to that. And the 
the elation of getting that done was, I mean, it was right up there with the, the big buck I shot with the rifle the year before. Punk kids have been tampered with? Uh-oh. Bow season just started in Florida and I just bought a crossbow hope to get one. I've been... Who was I talking to? Oh, I know what it was. My brother's wife is... She ju they just bought her a compound bow. It was actually from a previous co-worker of my, uh, both mine and my brother's. And I had recommended that they get a crossbow so she can hunt this year. Because I just think... You know, another thing about bow hunting, most places... You're getting out into the woods at a much better time of year. Like... Late October, early November is such an amazing time to be out in the woods. And I know, like, further west, some gun seasons are in by then. But here in PA, like, it's basically December until you can gun hunt. And when I was younger, that was what we did. Hunting season was two weeks from uh, the, the Monday after Thanksgiving till two Saturdays after that. And that was it. If you're like me hunting in Pennsylvania, adding that archery season basically extends your season by, like, two months. What's going on, Simon? Good to see you, man. Hope you get 400k subs by the end of the year. That would be awesome. That would indeed be awesome. That would also indeed unlock, I guess you could say, another 24-hour stream. That hit right in the shoulder. Got along, not bad. So I want to kind of compare at some point the 4570 and the 44. Maybe we can do it with that elk right there. I wonder if the holdover is going to be the same. It's a little further, so we're going to try to sneak a little closer to it. What map we are on at Silver Age Peaks today? Bucket list hunt would be Black Bear Moose and Elk with a recurve, like the new one in game. That would be a whole adventure, like adding all those types of hunts. One of those things where maybe you can take like three weeks or a month out of you. That would be amazing. Thinking about going to Block Island, Rhode, Block Island, Rhode Island. Okay, making sure I read that right. Uh, and doing some dough management. There's more deer than people on the island. Well, that would be a, a good way to get some dough management in, that's for sure. All right, well, they spooked. Can we get, like, a broadside? This is just going to take a lot of luck. Some of them are kind of slowing up. What are the odds that's the same shot? Actually, looks like the 4570 maybe did better there. First buck that I hunted was a kudu. That's awesome, man. What gun did you just shoot? Sorry for asking so many questions. Uh, so the first one, I'm get, I'm thinking that chat came through before the shot we just fired. The first cow elk we shot was with the Marlin 1894. That's one of the new weapons coming with the ambusher pack. In my opinion, by far the best lever action rifle in the game. Now that doesn't mean the most powerful in all circumstances. This was lung liver stomach. <gasps> with the 4570, 68% quick kill. Curious what the shot was. Farther shot, probably hit less organs, but I want to see what the 44 accomplished. Did you shot a moose? Because moose hunting season started in Finland on Saturday. There you go. Good size one. Got the double digit diamonds on Red Deer Grind and got a Shamer Albino. Nice. I, will, I love Hall of Shame kills. Hall of Shame rares, that was like kind of what started our Hall of Shame lodge initially was rares. I had like a couple of spike axes, deer, albinos, and piebalds. I think, what was the other one? We had a really tiny piebald mule deer, I believe it was. I don't know why, but... I, I think it's because you tend to see, like, the really small ones, spikes and stuff, around the same frequency that you see diamonds. So it's almost like a super rare except the other end of the spectrum. Can you shoot Crocs with the new 44 mag? You can. Uh, did we do that on stream last week, or last Friday? We shot gators with it in yesterday's video. I think we shot some crocs with it. I can't remember. Okay. So, double lung at 205 meters. 36% quick kill. And for most animals where you can get double lung, let's say with the 44 and the 4570, the 4570 typically is going to get better quick kill. But the big thing is, the 44 has that 70 penetration. So, on some bigger stuff, and I think maybe the best example is moose, a lot of times the 44 actually does better. What's your favorite rifle in real life? I mean, I'm, I'm not the kind of person that has, like, a, uh, a dream gun to own or anything like that. But, 
I do own a gun that I really like and have come to really like because of the results I've gotten with it. That would be my deer hunting rifle, my 7 mm Mod 8. If you caught the uh, real life hunting video, huh. <laughs> Hang on, I'll explain myself as to why I just confused myself and stopped mid sentence. If you watched the real life hunting video I released on the Meat Hunters channel on Friday afternoon, I actually talked about how well that gun has treated me over the last couple of years. And what I've shot, I've shot five deer with it. And Kyla has shot one deer with it. We haven't tracked a single one yet. It's a Weatherby Vanguard 7mm Mod 8. Really love that gun. The reason I just paused mid-sentence was I realized I recorded a classic video for tomorrow and that real life video is supposed to come out tomorrow, so... <laughs> Gotta save myself a couple hours, but Wednesday's video is recorded now. Thought I was good at changing dirty diapers till B got old enough to crawl and roll. He just got his entire heel in it. Oh, nice. <laughs> that's a That's a dad kind of job right there. Honestly, and I don't know if we'll do it, if we get back to the bear grind at any point, I'm using this. Extra long stream today, unfortunately no, um, I did post on the community tab, and I'm thinking about, maybe I'll do this. I'm thinking about making different rules in the Discord server, for like, one for people who are looking for, you know, stream, schedule changes, notifications, stuff like that, and then maybe rules for the different games that people want notifications about, streams, videos, all that. Anyway. I did post on the community tab, the reason this stream is starting early today is because Kyle and I are going to head up to my parents after this stream and go hunting. And in order to get there in time, to not just spook everything, we have to be done with the stream earlier than 5 o'clock. So, uh, 4 o'clock ending it is. And hopefully we can get something good in game and then get something good in real life too. I've changed the streaming schedule a lot over the years around hunting. I'm trying to think if I've ever shot a deer after doing that. I don't think it's ever worked. All the deer I got last year in PA were in rifle. And that streaming schedule's kind of like permanently changed? No, I don't think I have. <laughs> Maybe today's the day. What's up, pizza? Did you like the modern rifles pack? It's really good. The, the 308, as much as I love this gun, the 308 AR is probably still the best medium game grinding weapon. Now. There are places where this gun will perform better, but I think, like, on your average hunt, you're probably going to get a little better performance in terms of, like, say, kills per hour or whatever out of the 308. The 223 ain't bad, and now that they changed the 22 AR, it's pretty much just as good as the 22 Virant. The only thing is, the Virant carries 10 rounds, got a 10 round capacity, the AR is only a 5 round capacity, and that kind of does hurt it. You hate the Ravens. I'm, I'm curious what the uh, the reasoning for hating the Ravens is. TJ Watts, the most disruptive player in the league. He is insane. When, if you let them hang around and if you let them get any momentum, he's he's almost guaranteed to make a play. That game was painful, though. I'm not going to lie. That was... They, they shouldn't have won that game. They absolutely should not have. The Ravens dropped at least three touchdown passes. At least three. I think total drops was like six or seven on the day. They had that weird right before halftime is a fourth and two. And it looked like they were trying to draw the Steelers off sides and then they snapped it and then like they were completely unprepared. Lamar throw, just throws it away basically. And John Harbaugh standing on the sideline like, what are you doing? Like the look he gave was very much, why did you snap that? Just, just miscues all over the place. I'm going to boycott week five football talk <laughs> right under that 49ers are too good. Unfortunate, uh, unfortunate timing there. I am from, is that South Africa there? SA? I'm guessing so. Broncos country. Let's ride. Dude, how? The Broncos are a comedy of errors. I j they, what did they muff a punt or fumble a punt? I think they had a, a weird fumble thing on a reverse or a double reverse I can't remember they had a strip sack of Russell Wilson returned for a touchdown like their ability to just screw up what should be fairly routine plays is just amazing what's up Graham appreciate you dropping in 
before Night Shift. That sounds like an absolute blast. Appreciate you, man. What's your favorite animal to hunt in real life? Whitetailed deer. It's pretty much the only thing I've hunted. I mean, I've done some turkey hunting. I've done some small game hunting. I don't think the obsession for chasing whitetail is ever going to go away. It's that year-round thing. I mean, literally, um... Yesterday? Yeah. I went to my mom and dad's to watch the Steeler game because it's been a, a family thing since the time I was... When did they win the Super Bowl? Oh, five. It was actually, it was six. So that would have been eight. Pretty... I don't know that I've missed a Steeler game since that year. So anyway, we always go up to my parents, watch the game. Kyla wasn't feeling too good, so she stayed here. She got the trail camera cards. And I want to say we got a new big buck on camera, but it's really one that I had in Velvet in July. But it's the first time he's actually been the one that triggered the camera. When we got him on camera in July, it was actually a young buck that walked past, and he was in the background. You could just see his, his frame kind of moving around in some of the brush. So, adding another potential target buck to the list, but it's that year-round, like... You get, to, there's certain bucks that you watch year after year and stuff. There are other animals you can do that with, but whitetail are just in a different class when it comes to the, the yearly 365 day chase. Oh, that was pretty sweet. Did that hit the heart? Well, THQ Nordic posted a release date for the weapon pack, do you think? I'm hoping so. Um, I kind of got it messed up. I... I was streaming... What was I streaming? I think I was streaming Way the Hunter. Did I stream Way the Hunter last week? No. I was streaming Classic on Wednesday. That's what it was. Anyway, somebody told me the new DLC release is October 10th, and I thought they meant the Styre Arms pack. So I've had it in my head the entire time that it's coming out soon, but actually they were talking about the Ambusher pack here in, in Call of the Wild. So I, I still have yet to get it through my head that it actually hasn't been announced. When is gun season for you? Is November for me? I think this year it opens November 25th, which it's only been for like three or four years now that our season opens the Saturday after Thanksgiving. It used to be the Monday after Thanksgiving. So I believe this is the earliest PA opener ever, and it could start a day or two earlier still, so there will be future earliest evers. What's up, Shadow Lord? Smoked. I have a channel that I create content for Call of the Wild and haven't gotten early access. Um, so if you're in the official The Hunter Discord, as a content creator, you can apply for their affiliate or partner program. I don't remember, that was a heart shot by the way, not bad. I don't remember the exact requirements for affiliate. If you're, it's a YouTube channel, you said, I think it's, is it a thousand subscribers? I forget. A thousand subscribers, some amount of like, Monthly views. Somebody here probably has it. Rather than me just making stuff up and leading you down the wrong path. Do you know how much it is? Uh, the Ambusher Pack? I'm guessing $3.99. I don't think that's been announced anywhere, but literally every non-map DLC in Call of the Wild ever, outside of cosmetics, has been $3.99. There are cosmetics packs coming out, I think, with this update, too. Um, they were... There was a post in the official Discord. Let me find it. Call the Wild News. Nope, that's classic news. What are you doing up there? Alright, make your way down there. I'm just scrolling. Ambusher pack. This. Okay. So we have Reserve Cosmetics, and yeah, that's right. You can buy it as a bundle. What are the three reserves? Medved Taiga, Verhunga Savannah, and Parque Fernando, all those cosmetics packs. You can buy them individually, or you can buy them as a bundle, which I assume will save a little bit of money, but there's some cool stuff. There's a couple of really nice winter camos. I wish I had it on screen right now, but wait a minute. How difficult would that be? There you go. So, like this and this, I really like. I don't care for this one as much. The wood grains always look awesome. This one in particular I'm really excited about. This, I'm guessing, is Verhunga then? Just because of, like, the, the reeds and such? 
And then I'm assuming this is going to be Parquet. I like this, like, photorealistic camo the most. There's some good stuff in there. Anyway, let me remove that display cap, otherwise we're going to end up lagging. I can just feel it. Back to shooting things. Going problem hyena hunting tomorrow. Ooh, that actually sounds like fun. Hopefully you guys uh, have some success. If you're in the Discord, post pics. I'd love to see that. I don't think I've ever seen, like at least in my Discord, like a posted photo of a hyena. I've obviously seen hyenas, but I can't think of anyone in the community getting one. Wrong gun. Look good. Going down. It is a consistent theme with that. Hunting IRL right now, and I've only seen squirrel and chipmunks. That's been most of my hunts as of late. I came close to getting the deer out of the saddle uh, Saturday night. Just, it didn't quite work out. I thought I had the deer figured out. I thought I knew exactly where they were going to go. And for whatever reason, they cut... Oh, he stepped forward there. They cut to the left instead of the right. Stayed out of, out of my shooting lanes, and away they went. Hopefully, that alert's going to come through. They should be working. I tested them earlier. Either way, Seth, thank you for the super chat. Keep up the grind. Love your bitch. Thank you, man. Really, really appreciate the support. There's the alert. Good deal. Glad they're working. Hopefully, Canada gives Pickens one-on-one -on -one opportunities the rest of the season, but it's Canada. It is, in fact, Canada, and that's, uh... It's the one reason that I'm not sure what to think about that game as a whole. It's just... Kenny Pickett and I think actually Matt Canada too are at their best in like two minute drive situations where I, honestly I think part of it is typically they're going to get softer coverage. When there's, when it's tight coverage, press coverage, anything like that, they just can't seem to get anything open. So does that mountain goat just not have horns or what's going on here? Nope, they just weren't rendering. Okay easier to make a shot at that distance with the Hyperion, so back we go. Not bad. <laughs> Barely even had time to run. The shuck shuck sound is such a great sound. It's It's got the best sounding, like, working the lever. I mean, here's the 4570 for comparison. You don't even hear it. Like, it, it is there. I do hear it, but it's basically inaudible compared to this one. Ah, much more satisfying. He's got a level 3 pie ball blacktail. Nice, man. <laughs> That's absurd. Double lung, liver, and stomach. Like, you get those quartering angles of any kind, it's punching through everything. Did we get a vital? What? I didn't think that was happening. Gun even performs when I think it's not gonna. Have you ever trapped raccoons or coyotes? Never like, say, I don't know, I guess some people fur trap raccoons, right? The only time we've ever done it is like pest raccoons that were getting in the barn and stuff. Never trapped a coyote. Have you seen my profile pic? It's an actual white lion with me. I'm not gonna lie, I'm looking at it and I can't really make out anything other than green on the tiny little thing it gives me, unfortunately. Just notice the character on Call of the Wild's a southpaw, the way the hunters are righty. No, he'd be a righty. Guns in his left hand. I see what you mean though about like carrying stuff in his left hand. It must just be, you know why it is? The hunting HUD in the bottom right they don't want your binoculars or hunter mate or whatever to be covered by it. I think that's all it is. Found three level nine lions in, at one lake on single player. Is that rare? Three level nines is pretty rare. I've had two level nines at one lake. Three is pretty unheard of. I do remember way back in the day someone had three level nine coyotes in the same pack. What's up with his nose? How are you looking like a bird? Anyway. Um... I think two of those trolled. I'd be shocked if all three of those lions make it. It's on the right hand side? Okay, I can kind of see the white lion then. Crazy to me the 4570 magazine can only hold three. Should have really got a buff this patch. It's a tube mag, right? Yeah, I can see it if we're like swapping. Yeah, you should be able to hold like 
seven in that, in all honesty, but probably like when the game came out. And remember, the 4570 is a base game item. If there was a class four to nine gun, which back then the classes weren't tiered, but it effectively worked the same way, it probably would have been the only thing anybody ever used. Which at this point, like, there's a lot of guns that are like, everybody uses that type of thing. But back then, I think they were going for a more diverse experience. That's the way it goes though, like, you release new items, they make old items obsolete. I think they didn't want to start by making everything obsolete. Are there elk up here? We're gonna find out. Elongated nose? Got the black tail beak disease? Oh my god, that's exactly what it is too. Do we have a plan of where we're going later? Not really. I don't know. I don't like the wind for the stand I want to go to, so we're probably going to end up in the same place, and uh, maybe something will happen this time. My dad had a 4570, could only hold four rounds? Was it a was it a tube mag? Never thought I'd experience power creep in a hunting game. Imagine that. <laughs> in almost any game that has any sort of uh, variance in items. Killed a great one black bear. There you go. I continue to wait for the day that we accidentally find like a great one moose or bear on one of these hunts. I guess that one's kind of decent. A lot of just meh. <laughs> not, not special. All right, let's see if we can hard shot this one. The play now feature? The play now feature. What's that for? Only got to see it twice, fair enough. Hi from High Fish, what's going on, man? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. I love the. I can't even pronounce that. M1 Veteran bag two diamond crocs with the last night. Not bad. The M1, even though there's been several items that have come out that in theory should have made it obsolete, it still is right there, like, with the best medium game rifles in the game. It just never fails. I mean, literally anything we ever do with this gun. For a second there, I thought I was wrong because I thought that guy wasn't going to be a lung hit, but okay, that's fine. <laughs> what animal do you want to have a rework? You know what, what? This might not have like a big impact, but you know what stands out to me maybe the most? Some of the old rabbits. White tail jack rabbit, scrub hare, uh, European hare on like Quattro Kalinas. They, compared to the last couple of rabbits that have come out, mountain hare, cottontails, um, European rabbits. There's one other one too, I think. Antelope jackrabbit on Rancho. They're, they're not even close to as detailed. There's some other stuff that could probably use a rework, but I think top of the list is those rabbits. Favorite gun and bow? Assuming we're talking about Call of the Wild, I mean, this may legitimately become my favorite gun. I never like to, like, when a new map comes out and someone asks, is this your favorite map? I never like to say, like, yes, it definitely is. Because I need a couple of weeks or months to see, like, you know, does it hold up over time? Is there going to be something that I don't like about it that I haven't discovered yet? But I do really, like, I've always wanted this exact gun in game. So it is pretty cool to have that now, and I think I'm going to be carrying it a lot. Favorite bow? It probably has to be the Hawk Edge CB70. I just don't really have... I don't do a lot of bow hunting in Call of the Wild. Now, in Classic, there's a Flinter bow. That's my favorite. Shocker. Uh, can you test the 44 lever action on capes today? See if the quick kill is the same as using the 300? We could do that. Um, it may not be the... Oh my goodness, we are dropping some frames today. I didn't realize that. It may not be the most fair comparison. Let me turn down the bitrate just a tiny bit here. Tiny bit. Heh. <laughs> I swear when it gets cold on our internet, kind of falters a little. Anyway, I also carry the drilling rifle with me as a part of my loadout. Use the rifle for big game like bison and bantang, and I keep it loaded with 16 gauge birdshot for birds. Very versatile. It is. It's it's a really nice gun. It's got a great sound to it as well. Underrated aspect of that thing. Grizzly need it. Yeah, grizzly need it. Blacktail. Probably more so the antlers, right, than the than the models. Though the models could use a little bit of love, too. Grizzlies are like... To me, it's like they use a Kodiak bear as the reference. And that's kind of got it screwed up. How far was that? 
Just right in there every time. Pretty darn cool. It's not even cold. Yeah, it's not super cold. We've dropped 20,000 frames during this stream. The other part of it is, which I, I don't think the power source should matter, but we did run the air conditioner the other day. Therefore, the internet is plugged into a power strip instead of the wall, but I really doubt it's power. That wouldn't make any sense. How's the pup doing? Sleeping on her bed. This time of year, I think she's more consistently tired because darn near every day we're driving with her up to my parents. We'll go hunting during the day and just, she loves going there. She knows when, like if I grab my keys, for the most part, that's always where we're going. So she runs out to the truck. She can't wait to go see him. And as soon as we open the door at their house, she just goes flying up the stairs and wants to go see everybody. And for a couple of, well, I don't know, maybe an hour, she's just crazy running around, jumping up at everybody. And then she'll sleep the rest of the day. But it's enough just being there and like constantly having attention and seeking attention is enough to uh, tire her out for a couple of days. And then since we're doing it basically every day, she's just tired. But it's good. Rosie's need it. Rosie's could use it. Honestly, I feel like Rocky's even could use a little bit of, of work. Do you has got a pup? I do has got a pup. We got a Border Collie Blue Healer Mix, at least according to what we can figure. They told us Blue Healer Mix, but she seems to have more Border Collie than anything. That was, that was Groundhog Day 2022. So we've had it for almost two years. What's up, Miro? The 44 lever action should be 3 to 9, yet it... I mean, they use the same ammo as shooting the 44, and I think it probably would be kind of... I don't know. I, I don't I want. I don't want to say, like, impossible, but if someone, if someone were carrying a 44 on a Cape Buffalo hunt, they'd probably get some sideways looks. So I think I get why the ammo is 3 to 8, but it could definitely, especially fired out of a rifle, it could definitely be three to nine. Gunner, thank you for the super chat, by the way. What's the best way to see the animals on the DLC maps? Also, I don't have that many zones. The best way to see them? I mean, if you want to like... So, the first thing I should say, if you didn't know this, you can hunt on any map that you don't own in multiplayer. So long as someone in the multiplayer server owns the DLC, that map will stay open. If, for instance, say the last person that owns the DLC leaves, the server stays open for 15 more minutes and then shuts down. So obviously multiplayer is going to be the way to go. As for zones and stuff, I wouldn't worry about that too much. Just hunt around water. Doesn't really matter what time it is in game necessarily. If you're hunting near water, you got a good chance at seeing stuff. All right, 400 meter shot incoming. I'd like to shoot a fairly broadside one. I mean, that's a big one. Got to be over 400. We use the right gun, that'd be cool. I didn't see the blood spatter. So I'm not sure where it hit, but we shot behind his shoulder, meaning it couldn't have hit like low in the leg, so it should be a good shot. Meanwhile, this guy's still going. Don't worry, I'm here. What's going on, Jacob? Glad you can make it. I have two... Is it Dotson's? I can never pronounce that correctly. Uh, I had a black lab for bird hunting, but he passed away. Labs are such good dogs. I'm, I'm sure that was the, the same case with yours. We had a lab German Shepherd growing up. He passed in early 2019, I think. That was going to be the last dog my parents ever got. And I think it still will be. But I will tell you what, anytime that we are over there with Shadow, they have basically adopted her for the day. <laughs> my dad, the amount of scraps and stuff that she gets... She is, she is spoiled beyond belief over there. What's up, Jaguar? Did I say hi to you, Mistress? I know I read something you said. <laughs> oh no, bottom boy. <laughs> oh, do you think they need a dog and hunter? I mean, they have the bloodhounds. I would like a retriever, but here's what I'm... I'm in two minds about that one. Um, so Revan Dooley Coast came out. They did the waterfowl rework. And I think that would have been the perfect time to add retrievers. 
I'm gonna be honest, I don't do a lot of waterfowl hunting anymore. I just don't have, like, the... I don't enjoy it as much as prior to the rework, the way that geese used to be. It was kind of more fun. Not as realistic, but kind of more fun. Did I miss any great ones? None yet. Uh, we're waiting for you. There's, there's 12 great one black bear on this map. We're gonna go get them. What's up, Spooky? Doing good, man. Got my first deer yesterday in real life. There you go. Is that Justin Fields? Your profile picture? I can't tell. Kind of looks like him. What comes with this pack? Uh, not this one. The Model HD 44 Lever Action Rifle. This thing is amazing, by the way. There also is the Takedown Recurve. As you can see, you got a sight on it. You can put any sight on it, including the uh, Range Finding Sight. And then lastly, the Electronic Color. It can't call everything in the game, but I believe it can call everything that has an existing color already, on top of a couple of other things. See if that works. Looks like that elk didn't die, by the way. I'll be curious to see what the blood says. Should play Red Dead again? I thought about it here and there. Like, I know in the campaign, because we're in the... Epilogue? Is that the after one? <laughs> it's prologue or epilogue, whatever. There's a legendary pronghorn that we haven't gotten. We may go and do, do that for a video someday. We'll see. That's a good, like, in hunting season type of video to do, too. They changed the timeout thing? Oh. How do you get the range finder sight? The binocular one? That would be... I think it would be level 27 to unlock that. Or do you mean the bow? You mean the bow. Uh, that's in the... What do they call that? High... High tech? Hunting pack? High tech? I'll find it. Manage my 38 DLC. Call of the Wild has put out quite a few. High tech hunting pack. That is it. Yeah, it comes with night vision binoculars, a night vision scope. Keep in mind, said night vision scope is the same magnification as the starting scope. And then the range finding bow sight. And I think two bows. That are no different than a bow that's already in the game. They look a little different. The waterfowl are just a little too buggy and feels not genuine. I mean, they are better than they were. I'll give them that. But... Yeah, I don't know. Like... When I hunt waterfowl in Classic, whether it's any of the... Is there four species of geese in Classic now? Or ducks on Rukuru Bayou? Like, it's the perfect combination of realistic, fun, and challenging. Geese, for the most part, rarely do any escape. Usually I can get all the geese because they're a little bit bigger and slower. Ducks, every flock, some are getting away. But I'm hitting, you know, I'm, I'm killing three, four ducks per flock, sometimes more. The way that you can call them in, the way they circle, it's just, it's a little bit better. And I think as some, if someone has never played Classic and doesn't have that expectation, I think Waterfowl Hunting and Call of the Wild is probably fine. When you've played it, it does kind of set that expectation there. Favorite map to hunt? It remains to be Leighton Lakes. For as much a nostalgia reason as anything else. Is the first... Bow, a good one to buy when you start the game. The the Razorback or whatever it is, maybe the Bear Claw. They're the same bow with a different skin, I think. Um, I wouldn't say getting a bow early on in the game is a good or bad decision. It's not terribly expensive. I would probably spend my money elsewhere and then maybe worry about going to the, the bows a little bit later. I think there's just too many good things you can do in like buying, say, the 7 mil or other things first. Is it worth it to bring no colors for the electronic color? I like the electronic color and there are certain things that it's good for. Like we use it for gators in yesterday's video. And it was a lot of fun. It's very effective. You can't otherwise call gators. On future gator hunts, I'll probably bring it. And there's going to be some other situations as well. Probably if I'm bow hunting in general, I might bring it. Here's the thing though. The electronic color takes up five units of space. That would be every manual collar is a half a unit. So that would be equivalent of carrying 10 collars. That sounds really good, 
but on any given map, you're never carrying more than like, say, five or six colors. So it doesn't, th there, there's not a big advantage to carrying it unless it's for something like gators that you can't call with anything else. Now, if you're just hunting in a tree stand, you want to call stuff in, you don't feel like having to hit the collar every couple minutes. Yeah, electronic collar is perfect for that type of hunting. My impression is that most people do the same kind of hunting that we're doing right now. And the e-collar doesn't help a lot there. Should do a realistic hunt for a video? So I'm going to be honest, I've done some realistic hunts before. I've done it in Classic, I've done it in Call of the Wild. The biggest issue I encounter with that is I started self-filming my like real-life hunts five years ago. And now when I do a realistic hunt in-game, I just feel silly. <laughs> like, every time I've... I've attempted it a few times. And every time I do, I just scrap it because I'm like, what am I doing? Like... I'll just go hunt in real life if I want to make this kind of video. Getting a bow early is a good decision in classic. Now that is most certainly the case. Uh, okay. Dang. I wanted a hip shot. I got the wrong gun out, but still. Not much going on for big elk around here. I guess we'll get that one. Broadside hard shot question mark? Exclamation point. Bow is OP in classic. Bows are, in my opinion, the best way to hunt, the best way to level up tracking skills, spotting skills, all that good stuff. And earn GM to buy other stuff. There are some that play classic and essentially run around, try to get heavy tracks, track said heavy tracks, and then shoot big animal at the end of that trail. And I guess they can be pretty efficient doing that, but I've always found that bow hunting and calling stuff in, taking your time, you just get more kills. I want to try goose hunting with it. Keeps calling them even as they land. Yeah, so we did goose hunt with it on Friday stream. For for geese and waterfowl and stuff, that is another place where it can be really good. Once you've placed it, too, it's out of your inventory. So, like, in theory, what you do is you go to your, your best goose setup. So you have several around the map. You place that e-collar there. You leave it there. And every time you fast travel to that tent, you get in your blind or your tripod or wherever you got set up. You turn on the collar. You got to deal with the depressed goose. We got to, I got to show you that if you haven't heard it. <laughs> you got to deal with the depressed goose every five seconds. But otherwise, yeah, it's much better than having to worry about using the actual collar. Should I get the... the 347. The 357 in classic? I I personally wouldn't. It, it's a good. Do you have a sidearm slot? Like, do you have that slot 3 unlocked before I go any further with this? That's kind of a relevant part of this. Grizzly models in this game look derpy. Yeah, they're they're not the best bears they've ever done. They might be the worst bears they've ever done. Could maybe say that. Can you please make a full guide for Ticket Moon on Way the Hunter? I should do something like that. What I'll say though is, I'm probably not as familiar with Ticket Moon as I need to be. My problem is I had all these rares and other maps that I keep going back to. I want an IRL hunt and call the wild style, chest cam POV, binos held like that, put weapon wheel on the screen, would switch into a gun. I've thought about doing something like that a couple of times and I always kind of just forget that I have that plan. That would be really fun. Maybe next April Fools. <laughs> Call the Wild graphics update? Do you have to pay for the e-color with in-game money or is it free? Like once you've purchased the DLC? I believe it's free. Great one, Turkey. You have a 27-foot beard. <laughs> you just see it like snaking through the grass behind it. Can you do some hotspot areas on the angler? One day I can't find fish consistently at all. I could maybe do something like that. I typically rely on the um, the guides that are in the official The Angler Discord. They're not like they're not the only place you can catch fish but they do list good areas to catch any type of fish you might be after. Alright. So let's do a couple of things. Let's first, while it's in my head here, let me show you the depressed goose sound because <laughs> we talked about it last Wednesday and it was, or Friday, it was pretty good.
gotta play it completely serious like they just updated the the graphics would work great for a rabbit hunt or something that's also true I just gotta remember to carry things like they do in Call of the Wild okay I'm not gonna worry about killing any geese I just want you guys to hear this for anybody that hasn't It got more and more depressed every time. Hey, look. Ah! It's brought in a bunch of friends. They're like, oh my god, ah! Junior sounds depressed. Let's go help him out. Ah! Sorry, Junior's not here. It's only ah! me. Don't worry, the slow moving around. I don't know how to aim it in the air yet, so you'll survive. Ah! Anyway. Goose needs therapy. Yeah, it's uh, it's quite the sound. Okay, we were talking about testing quick kill on Cape Buffalo, so we shall do that. Need some WD forty, maybe. Sound like a person mocking a goose? I believe what I said was, it sounds like somebody who just bought a goose call at Walmart for the first time and is trying to learn how to use it. Reminds me of what I hear from people that go, like, elk hunting, and they'll always know, like, s some people that are really good at calling. It's tough to tell, was that a bull elk, or somebody imitating a bull elk? But I guess when it's someone that's kind of new to it, you can always tell. Sounds like he's unsure of himself. Great one, Goose, with 36 foot head. Just a absolute, I was gonna say chonker, but I think hawker is probably more accurate. How do you swap maps like that? Has that feature always been there? Yes. Uh, so when you have, I'll show you again. When you have the map open, this is single player only. You cannot do this in multiplayer. When you open the map, right here, you've got toggle reserve selection and the key to do it. So for instance, if you're on console, it's X or square, I think. You hit that, got your option. Learning something new every day. Little stuff like that. I remember a, a lot of people. I made a video on it. A lot of people thought if you switched maps, you had to start over at level one. A lot of people thought you couldn't switch maps. A lot of people didn't know like that you could switch maps that way. It's it, Call of Wild, I think, does a pretty good job of like introducing new players to the game. If there's one place they lack, though, it's kind of explaining some of the basic stuff you can do that makes life easier. No worries, Taz. Kept leaving the whole game to swap. That should save you, what, a couple of minutes every time you swap? Might be IG. Honestly, I don't know, Bottom Boy. I do have an Instagram. Um, typically, when I'm posting on Instagram, like, for hunting pics, it's like in collaboration with Meat Hunters. But, every now and then, like, the main thing you could probably catch is, like, story posts kind of updates throughout the season, which I need to get back on that. I've been big time slacking this year. I don't know what the command is. Unless it's just Instagram. Anyway, Kyla has it there. I remember clicking new game because I thought it would help me change maps. Yeah, like I said, some of that stuff just isn't super well laid out and explained. I wasn't planning on being here very long. I don't have their drink time wrong, do I? No, it's 9 to 12. Kyla in the clutch, she's got it. My dad got a break action 308, there you go. That could be an interesting caliber. Now that would be the third 308 added to the game. I'm not sure if a break action, like... You know, it, it's almost going backwards. They started with the AR, and then the bolt action, and then you if you go to break action, I just don't think enough people would use it. A 44 lever action is going to be a beast. Yeah, I, I really like what it can do. Could be like me and only post exclusively to your story with all the footage I've taken. As my brother would say, with all the deer I've footaged. He really wouldn't say that, but he did say it once by accident. Need the muzzle to be 49? Yeah, that one... I mean... It's one of those things too where... 
I think they designed it to be good against certain species. And some of said certain species are quite big, moose, elk, things like that, and they needed good penetration for it to be effective. But that same penetration is insane on buffalo. Like the muzzle velocity and stuff of a caplock muzzleloader isn't super high. So like the, it makes sense that it's four to eight, but it's so absurdly powerful on class nine animals. It's kind of almost a joke that it can't be ethical to hunt, like to take them. There's class nine weapons that don't do nearly as good. If you right click, left click, back and forth as fast as you can, you can buy more than one box of ammo at once. My best is six boxes. What? I just hit enter, enter and then left click, I think. How much is the e color Weigh five units. Can you give me the Great One Luck? I don't have very much of it, but you can have mine. What's your dream hunt? Caribou in Alaska. All right, we're gonna try, there should be some here actually. Make life easier on herself. The untitled goose call? You know what? Not that it happens. Uh, I'll, I'll let you guys in on a video idea I have, though. Not that it happens a lot. But, like, if I ever needed to censor something in a video, that sad goose call would be so funny. The other thing I was thinking, though, I want to do, like, an unnecessary censoring video of myself because I think it'd be really funny. I don't know when I'll get around to that, but I think I could find some videos that if you censor words that are just normal words, it could sound hilarious. Have you ever hunted IRL in Iowa? I haven't. It's on the list, though. What I think... See, this is the problem that I've run into. There's enough good bucks between my property and my dad's property. And even though we only get one buck tag in PA, they give us the runaround enough that it typically takes us most of archery and gun season to end up filling a tag. So what I don't like to do is potentially take away, you know, time in specifically like in November to hunt in another state. But I think what I'd like to do is get like a rotation going for myself. Because I know, I'm not sure if it's Iowa, maybe it's Illinois, maybe both. You got to get preference points as a non-resident. If I kind of like stagger them, so like one year Iowa, one year Illinois, one year maybe Missouri etc could basically have like a really good big buck rut hunt every year it's just do I want to give up hunting for the deer that I have on trail camera and stuff year round I talked about earlier like the 365 uh, or even call it just 24-7 365 chase of whitetail I like hunting them elsewhere but the trail cam and stuff is why it's fun Okay, so Cape Buffalo don't exist. Cool. We will find some. I believe it, bottom boy. I've heard... My cousin lives in Ohio, and when he drives through there, he talks about just... Not Ohio, I mean, when he drives through Illinois, Iowa. Because I think... I don't know exactly what he does. It's some sort of, like... He's not a truck driver, but it's some kind of thing where he's driving, you know, eight, ten hours sometimes out there for a couple days and back. I really, I wish I had any clue what he did. Anyway, uh, do you have an interest in duck hunting? I don't think it's something where I'd be like, you know, every year looking forward to duck season, but I think I'd like to go some. How about hunting in Ohio? So I've never done that either. Here's, here's like the dream scenario that I always want to happen that never does. Last year, my dad shot a buck here in PA on October 4th. Pretty nice. Was this an eight point? I think. Might have been a nine point. Either way, pretty good deer. I ended up killing my buck in West Virginia October 11th, but I didn't get a buck here at home in PA till the last day of rifle in December. But if I did what he did, and killed a buck like early on I would definitely be going to Ohio for a week or so in November and cause like it's I could probably drive five hours it would be pretty pretty nice and close killed my first buck on Saturday there you go man congrats 
Do you like the new DLC? I do. The the 44 lever action is amazing. It's to me, it's the start of the show, and I think that was to be expected. The recurve has been like a pleasant surprise, though. I've actually I don't know if we've missed a shot with it, but every time I use it, it just has impressed me. And then the e collar, like it's got its place. It's not something I'll use every hunt or anything, but there's gonna be times. Killing deer, what's that like? I don't know, in 2023. Killed your buck out October 11th too? Nice. Maybe October 11th is it. I gotta hunt on Wednesday. It all adds up. Wait, is it really? I thought it was the 15th. That's awkward. Could you please tell me how much the new DLC is going to be? It hasn't been announced yet, but I can only imagine 399 US. Most duck hunters don't even do anything with their ducks, like they don't eat them. Most duck hunters don't? I, I'm assuming that's a little bit of like... Anecdotal or whatever, but... I get what you're saying, like anybody that's not... Eating the duck as they're hunting, I'm not sure what the point is. If you can't spend at least four to five days on a trip like that, it's almost not worth going. As we've, uh... Established a couple times. <laughs> and I continued to do four day trips. I mean, you did say four to five, but I feel like what what we've done in West Virginia, basically a full seven days with, it, it ends up being, I think, six and a half counting the travel. I think that's the ideal. You have enough time to settle in. You don't have to hunt every single morning if you don't want to or whatever. You can kind of pick the, the better weather and everything. I think that's, I think that's the right approach. Anyway. I'm going to try to go exactly to 100 meters, and we're going to test... Get out of my way. Don't you do it. Well, anyway, we'll eventually test. Quick kill. 100 meters broadside, 300 versus 44. Missed the first hour of the stream? I know, we started early today. All for hunting. Going to hunt capes with a 22 pistol? I've heard hunting cape buffalo with a 22 can get a lot of views on YouTube. Is there a way to reduce hunting pressure when you shoot in the game? Using bows will reduce hunting pressure by 50%. You'll do half the hunting pressure you would with a gun. If you hunt from like a tripod stand, a ground blind, any sort of structure basically, that will cut your hunting pressure by one fourth, meaning, well, or by three fourths. You do 25% as much hunting pressure when hunting from a tripod or a tree stand or a blind, anything like that. If you, I believe it stacks if you use a bow from a tripod is like one eighth, which is, you'll basically never make any hunting pressure by doing that. I don't want to shoot a female Cape Buffalo, but I think that may be the move. We're at 70, which I guess we'll just do that. And we'll compare. So right behind the shoulder, it's going to be 100% or very close to it. I don't think the 44 is going to do that. Which again, this is a class 9 weapon where the 44 isn't even ethical for class 9. Where do you hunt in West Virginia? I'm from near Huntington. Um, the reason I'm pausing, I'm trying to remember. Was Huntington where I went through, Will? You knew where I was? About 30 miles north of Huntington along the Ohio River. There you go. I'm hunting with Bottom Boy when I go to West Virginia is the reason he's answering that. I'm trying to remember, like, that gas station I stopped at. I feel like it was in Huntington or near it. Favorite truck brand? It's gotta be Ford, because that's the only truck I've ever driven. My dad has been a Ford... Uh, he's been a Ford guy my entire life. I... I know he had... In, like, the 70s or something. It wasn't a truck. In the 70s, he had a Chevy something, but... Trucks, SUVs cars. My family's always had pretty much exclusively Fords. My dad bought a Chevy truck this past month and I was just surprised to even see it. I didn't expect that. 77%. Okay. But that's single long with the 300. Let's see what the 44 does. 70 meters. It does stack. I tested it. Bow hunting plus hunting structure will never blow a zone. I sat and shot 28 fallow and it barely made a mark. I can believe it. Like you're deleting hunting pressure faster than you're making it. That was between Huntington and Charleston. Okay. Chevy better. 
it depends on the model and stuff you get, obviously. Like, there's a couple of things that my dad's truck has that I wish mine had. Mine has heating, heated seats and his doesn't. Which, heated seats in hunting season, need to have them. It's nice. I never had heated, heated seats in any of my vehicles before. I love it. Love my Ford, but the wiring problems have been atrocious lately. I haven't run into... I honestly haven't run into much of anything. Other than... My 06 that I had for like five years, which I didn't even buy that till 2016 or 2017. It must have been 2017. Um, it had an issue with the coil packs going bad. Could you please show me how you change the color of the tracks? I can do that as we just sneak up here. So you're going to go into your system. I think it's gameplay. It's not gameplay anymore, is it? Interface. So under clues here. You've got the active and your inactive track colors. You can change both. So, for instance, on Verhunga, I have lime for inactive in this Hollywood. I don't know how to say that. Pink <laughs> for uh, for active. Works well enough for me. Please don't be charging. We're almost in the perfect spot. What's up, Danny? Flinters only riding deers. I, th I think that could be misinterpreted. What's going on, Iron Moose? Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Having a pretty good one. I did uh, I did accidentally record a video that I didn't need to record, <laughs> which was awkward. Basically, I forgot I have a real life hunting video coming out tomorrow. If you haven't seen it on the Meat Hunter channel and have been looking forward to it, it's the end of my 2022 season. Three deer, it's a 20 minute video, I think. Uh, but yeah, uh, what you doing? Okay, anyway. Um, but I'm super excited because that's going to lead into in-season content basically from here on out. Of course they're not broadside anymore. Why would they make my life easy? What if I just kind of wiggle around a little bit? Oh, stay there. It's kind of unbroadsiding itself. Get out of my way. Why are you like this? We'll just keep wiggling until we get a shot. One of them is eventually going to turn broadside. This one kind of is. Ah, we had a chance there. Going to be really close to the same impact. Ooh. Going to be relatively close to the same quick kill. Do you have a brain? Because <laughs> I sure couldn't find it. Can't wait to use the untitled goose call. I think it should be everyone's new favorite call. Over the brain. Over the brain. Way over the brain. That's odd. I'm surprised that stopped it. It might just be showing incorrectly, because it never gets stopped like that. As you can see, just punch straight through. Okay. That one doesn't matter. This one does. <laughs> Life is supposed to be easy. <laughs> Not for a Broncos fan. Yeah, after that game. Oh, boy. Should be my ringtone? That wouldn't confuse anyone. Okay. Double lung, no additional organs. 56%. So... It's, I would say, comparable, at worst, to the 300 on a Cape Buffalo. Now, again, we're talking um, double lung versus single lung. But when that conversation comes up, there are certain species, like Cape Buffalo, like moose, where with most weapons, you just only are going to get a single lung versus the 44. Pretty consistently going to get double lung. Any big buck seen IRL yet? As far as physically laid eyes on, No. Biggest buck I've seen is like a four point. Um, but we did just get a another pretty nice one on camera. It's a deer that I knew was around. Uh, we had him on camera in July, and then he kind of just disappeared. But I knew eventually he'd show back up, and he just did, so that's at my property. The ones, there's a whole bunch of like 100 inch deer at my mom and dad's. Haven't seen too many that are way above that. There's a, a couple of maybe 115s, but 
Still waiting on that really big stuff. It's a bottle of water. Oh god, that scared me. Broncos were never as good as they were hyped up to be after the Wilson trade. Yeah, I mean, but their defense was so good. For like, I mean, to the best of my knowledge, from the Peyton Manning Super Bowl all the way through, like, they were always a top-end defense. And the thought was they were essentially a quarterback away from competing for Super Bowls. So they go and get Russell Wilson. What, they win five games. And their offense is garbage. And their defense is really good. So they go and get Sean Payton, one of the better offensive minds, at least theoretically, in basically NFL history. And their offense looks better. It's improved. Their defense is hot garbage. And it's just, I don't even understand. What was that shot? That was like an insta-kill. Anyway, I don't understand how that happens. What was that? Uh, that was one of our Twitch sound alerts that can be played through YouTube somehow. It was a bottle of water. Yeah. What do you think the price of the DLC is going to be? I can only imagine 399 US. Can you use the new lever gun on kangaroos? We actually did that, I guess, on Friday's stream, so we'll stick to Silver Ridge for now. What's up, Jaden? Going pretty good. How about yours? Been watching and rewatching your IRL hunting videos. Very good stuff. Well, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Hopefully, this next one will be a uh, oh, hard shot. Nice. Hope this next one will be just as good. I am very much excited for the end season content. It's done a little bit differently. It's almost like a week to week kind of thing. But I think I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Like I missed kind of bringing people along for the ride throughout the year. Thought the Texans were beating the Falcons? I did too. I picked them. I This is the second week in a row where my 1 o'clock games were just a disaster. Like, I think I, I missed on like five picks in the 1 o'clock window. And I, I, oh, and the Thursday night game. Nope, and the London game. So maybe I only missed on three 1 o'clock window games, but I had already missed the first two of the week. I think every game since the 1 o'clock window has been perfect. Now, I did pick the Packers to beat the Raiders, which I'm not sure about, but... There's something about all the primetime games, and I'm counting 4 o'clock Eastern kickoff as primetime. Seems like I can do pretty good. The rest, shot in the dark. 44 is good for 3-8. to eight. SRP is my favorite map to hunt feed zones, not on drink zones specifically. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna. I want to get some pronghorn and stuff. So we're gonna scoot like up through, kind of like this, I guess. It may be the case, Clark, because I like. It's not a lack of skill, guys. I didn't even see Javante Williams play. Was he hurt? But they had Samaj P. Ryan and that other Jaleel something. I only know that because the NFL YouTube channel put out a dumb, not dumb, a little video with the title Jaleel is a fantasy draft steal or something like that. Anyway, they were running all over the place. Jerry Judy and uh, Cam Sutton are good. In theory, they're supposed to have really good defense. Russell Wilson is talented, whatever you may think about whether he's a jerk or not. But nothing meshes. Like, they just, all the mistakes and stuff. 8-5 so far, Packers will make 9-5. I think I'm also 8-5. I have to go back and look, but I'm pretty sure. Dang. If I'm wrong, or if we're both wrong, 8-6 is going to make me feel like I haven't gotten any better at this. Started 8-8, eight and, eight, and then I was 12-4, and four, and it's only gone downhill from there. Can you show me the new items? Sure can. This is the new Model 1894 44 lever action rifle. Not ethical for bison, but still kills them pretty fast. Then we have the takedown recurve. It can equip sights. That is a, a pretty cool feature, especially on a bow that takes up so little inventory capacity. And the electronic collar, which I don't even think we'll use once in today's stream. We should use it. No, we did use it for turkeys. 
Dang it, that's disappointing. I wanted the mountain lion collar to be cool. What does this sound like? Yeah, the black bear being the axis deer collar kind of makes me sad. Or the axis deer warning call, rather. Doesn't make the most sense. Are any guns good for 2 to 7? Yeah, I think you're right. The 420 grain arrows, I think, are rated for that. I don't think there's any gun that's specifically 2 to 7. 243 is 2 to 6. I wouldn't say that'd be the only thing in that area. Not my best week, but I did pick the Jags in the 11th hour. 11th hour? Is that the injuries and the jet lag were too much? I just, I didn't expect the bills to come out as flat as they did. They were talking about it though, like, and I missed this. But I guess like all weekend they were talking about the struggles of, of the travel and stuff. And I can, I can see where that would definitely affect the team. I just thought they were still going to overcome it. And they came close, if not for all the defensive injuries, maybe they get enough stops to win it. Any good advice for bagging a great one fallow? Best I can tell you, I went to Te Aoroa, um, ended up shooting 6,134, I think, till I got one. So I may not be the best to ask, but like any other grind, set up tents at as many zones as you can, tripods to eliminate hunting pressure, and just shoot a whole bunch of fallow. A couple of decent ones up there. Let's, uh, let's put the penetration of the 44 to the test. In theory, that's a terrible angle. In practice, it kills it in two seconds. <laughs> I played flag football and the Packers suck. I beat them 50 to zero. The Green Bay Packers? I'm surprised they got Jordan Love out there playing flag football. I don't know how they made already electronic sounds sound even more electronic, but they nailed it for the e-collar. They did, they, they have some kind of filter over stuff to, to make it sound like it's coming from a speaker, I guess. They did do well with that. Double lung at 270 meters on a bison. <laughs> Not a lot of guns in the game could do that. Moment of silence for Panthers fan, Bryce Young's, Bryce Young is 33rd because Minshew had enough passes to qualify. In, uh, in what... I'm guessing it's not passer rating. He's made some oof decisions, but I've seen him make the right read enough. I wonder what he's 33rd in. Oh, in QBR? Okay. I'm surprised he's below, like, Kenny Pickett, to be honest. Kenny has a tendency to just not have very many people open and therefore check it down a lot. Steelers suck, they lost to my Texans. I'd agree with you that they suck, but also the Texans lost to the Falcons, so that's not good. <laughs> Cowboys broke my heart, Dak just sucks under pressure, just use Rush or Lance. I mean, that defense, is, and I mean the 49ers defense to be clear, that defense is... It's going to be a handful for anybody to do anything against that team. Has there been a... Let me look this up. I'm guessing through five games, they have allowed less than 12 points per game. Double lung. <laughs> That's insane. You think they'll nerf the 44 mag? I don't see a reason why they should. Hopefully not. I like it how it is. Okay. So we have week one... They gave up 7 to the Steelers. Oh, they gave up 23 to the Rams. I forgot about that. So it'd be 30. 12 to the Giants would be 42. 16 to the Cardinals would be 58. 10 would be 68. Okay, so they're giving up, what's 70? 68 divided by 5. I was close. They're giving up 13 and a half per game. And the two games that they've given up more than 13 are division rivals, which you expect those games to, like those teams to maybe have a better idea how to beat that defense. They're just really good. They only lost by two? I picked them to win, so... I can't sit here and say, like, ha, they're bad. CJ's trial is gonna be really good. What's up, Hayden? 
They were one of my five losses, but I knew I shouldn't have picked them. The 49ers were scary. Like, I, w I wanted to... I don't know that I wanted to pick the Cowboys, but I wanted to believe it was going to be at least close. They're just... They're a different level than, I mean, any defense I've ever watched. Maybe, I mean, like, even the 2010 Steelers weren't like that. And what's crazy is the 2010 Steelers didn't even win the Super Bowl. They were a better defense than the 08 Steelers that did. 49ers and some lesser AFC team? See, if it ends up being like the Chiefs, they might be the only ones. I don't think the Bills, I don't think the Jags, I don't think... I don't know, could you throw the Chargers into that mix? I'm trying to think of... I mean, I, I don't see the Ravens, I don't see anyone in the a a AFC North, sorry. Being able to beat the 49ers, I think legit. If the 49ers can avoid injury and get to the Super Bowl... I think they win it unless it's the Chiefs, because Pat Mahomes just does Pat Mahomes things. So taking Reb and Tui as an example, can the e-color bring in stuff like Caper Kaylee, the Tiny Quills, etc. Being so small, using the color plus a tree stand would help a lot? Why don't we look at that? I actually haven't gone to Reb and Tui to see what all it can call. And unfortunately I can't check without going to the map, so we can, uh, we can hop over there and do that. They should buff the 4570 and upgrade the capacity and reskin it to a Marlin 1895 SBL. I don't know that, I mean, I guess they could reskin it, but due, or not due to, because of the customization we have now, I don't know how worth it that is. However, I'd be all for upgrading the capacity. I think that could be good. 49ers are going to be undefeated. There will be a game somewhere. There, I mean, there just always is. You come out flat against, you know, a better team than you expect. Ball bounces the wrong way. Let me look at this. I think they beat the Browns. I think they beat the Vikings. The Bengals 49ers game could be interesting, but I don't know if Joe Burrow is going to be back all the way yet. He looked good this week, but not all the way. Jags, Bucks, Seahawks, 49ers, Eagles will definitely be interesting. The, they might lose to the Seahawks once. They play them tough. They do play the Ravens on Christmas. Yeah, it's either going to be the Eagles or one of the... I do think they're going to be like uh, 15 and 2 at worst. I don't care if Texas win the Super Bowl, it's our year. I wouldn't complain, it'd be something different. Alright, let's see what we can call for... we got to be, I think, at least 200 meters from... No? I thought you'd be 200 meters away from any kind of outpost. Anyway, we have Whitetail, Tough to Duck... Eurasian Teal, Hazel Grouse you can't call, Mallard, Bears, Lynx, Raccoon Dog, oh that'd be... Can you call a Raccoon Dog? Yeah you can normally. Widgeon, that's where to hear it. Uh, Golden Eyes on there, Geese are on there. Wait. Curious. Oh good. Actual sounds instead of... The way that the um... Not what I wanted to hit. The way the colors work with like um, the manual callers for Tundra Bean Geese and, and Grey Lags is, oh, hey, I think we're calling some in. It just is like the standard goose call sound. So what if, will they come in without decoys if I can find the thing again? I don't even know where they went. There's some. Uh, let's see what they do. If the Broncos win, if the Broncos get five wins this year, I'm going to do a flip six, and I'm going to do a blood sacrifice. I imagine they'll find their way and string some together, but what are they wanting for? Can you stack calls for waterfowl? Unfortunately, no. I I think that would make this a little bit more worth it. What's up, bro? Going pretty good for the most part. We're just kind of testing stuff out, trying some things. I think we are going to bring some geese in here. Don't think we've shot the recurb yet today, but we might have a chance to the goose eventually. Now where they're going to land, I have no idea. 
Think the Colts slip into the playoffs and can maybe surprise a team? So, AFC... I think the AFC North might get two in. AFC East is going to get two in. Would the South be that third wildcard team? I could see it. I just don't trust the Chargers enough. As good as they should be, they just, they tend to like charger it up and for some reason lose games they shouldn't lose. Smoked them. Did that spook them? I guess? No? Maybe not. Might as having to listen to that nonstop. Got a mail around here somewhere. I thought it landed on the dock for a second. Eh, it looks like all females. I think that got hit. Maybe not. It looked kind of funny. Nah, I guess, guess we whiffed on that. Hey! Finally got the lead on that thing. Dolphins just got a lot better with the addition of Claypool. Oh, yeah. Now, they, now, now they're going to get one more yard than they would have otherwise. Or maybe one less. I liked Claypool a lot as a rookie. But I don't know what his deal is. He's just... He seems to bring everyone around him down. That bow's pretty sneaky. It is. Do you think the new 44 lever action is too OP? Seems like there is almost no reason to bring any other weapon in his class range. I, I would say it maybe would be if not for the lack of zeroing. And with the mill dots on the Hyperion and the Argus, you can pretty effectively shoot out to 300 meters and stuff, but... Certain hunts, certain maps, depending on what you're after. I think there's good reason to carry other stuff as well. So where did that goose go? It might be out there on that island. Which we can get to. Do I really feel like going all the way around there? No. What's on this map that we can shoot with the 44? Not much. We might just go ahead and jump back uh, to SRP. The main point of coming here was to test the callers, which I think everything but Ptarmigan. Imagine the untitled goose shoots back. <laughs> Sounds like the type that would. Yang was way too loud when I recorded it yesterday. Guess I'll have to remember to turn it down if I play it again. Are you recording with OBS? Cause you should. I'll have. I can show you what to do. It's uh. It's fairly straightforward. Um. But you can. You can record with two audio tracks. That's what I do. So like, if it rains or if I get close to like the shore in the Hunter Classic, you know how loud the waves are. I can just turn down the game volume. And then you can hear like the microphone better. Can someone who knows how guns work explain to me how the 44 penetrates more than a 300? Is it just balancing? Uh, realistically, especially given the types of bullets, it probably shouldn't. Like, the perfect... If you got the right 300 round and the right 44 round, you could probably get better penetration performance out of the 44. But, like a typical round, that's not the case. The reason that it works that way in the game is the 44 was made obviously for like a handgun and I think the idea was you know handguns aren't gonna be shot from very far and stuff so they designed it and maybe they made it more powerful than it should have been now giving that to a rifle though is kind of insane does OBS definitely need to separate my audio tracks yeah I think that'll help which is better the firing of the uh, Zarza? I feel like if it if it's for any kind of like waterfowl hunting, I'd actually go with the Vyrant because that 10 round capacity really helps. Um, 
you can fire the Zarza a little bit more quickly in my experience. So there, there's times where that can be nice. It's kind of a, a judgment call. They're pretty much exactly the same. How many hours a day are you working on content? Depends on the time of year. Like today, for instance, and today was a it was a normal day, but it was a screwed up day because I was supposed to edit the small edits I got to do to my real life hunting video from the Meat Hunters channel. That came out on Friday on that channel. My real life videos come out Friday on Meat Hunters Tuesday on this channel. So it's supposed to be that, but I forgot. So that's still going to be tomorrow's video, but I recorded a video for tomorrow thinking that I would have a video like normal. So like a regular day, I typically record for um, anywhere from two and a half to three hours. This particular video, because it was classic, took three hours to record. It'll take me an hour to edit and a half hour to do the thumbnail. So that'd be four and a half hours there. Maybe till I'm done uploading, it's right around five. This time of year, that's about all I do per video. So, like, I, again, like if this is tomorrow, because on stream days, it gets a little bit more complicated. But on a Tuesday when I wouldn't be streaming, I would wrap up editing for the day, get the thumbnail done, upload the video, and then I'm probably just going hunting after that. And I guess that's content too, right? Because I do film my real hunts. But during the summer or in the spring and stuff, during the winter even, after those five hours, typically, like, whether it's a Great One Grind or looking for a Diamond Bobcat in multiplayer or just whatever, there's a lot of, like, hidden hours that don't necessarily go into the content itself, but it's time spent looking for things that are meant to be content, so I don't know how you count those. Angler Call of the Wild? I mean, I'm always gonna prefer the Hunter Call of the Wild. I've always been more into hunting than fishing, but... I gotta tell you, I really enjoy playing the angler. It's a lot of fun. Nice. I was kind of worried with slow moving around we might shoot behind it. And we were close, but not too far back. Hard to tell what's real life and what's content. Fair enough. Imagine if we could bow fish in the angler. That was another one of those things that a lot of people were hoping for. I don't know if I would say anyone was expecting, but just get, you know, look at who the developer is and what they're maybe not most famous for, but up there. Well, that's the publisher. The, the developer is definitely most famous for Call of the Wild. Anyway. You might think like, okay, they have bow hunting in their other games. Why not? But the, like, the lead designer, or whatever the official title is, Rushy, he has made very clear they're, they're very much wanting to promote, like, the catch and release style fishing, which I, I totally get. But that definitely means things like boat fishing, any, any sort of, like, I can't think, any sort of, I, I guess even snagging, anything like that, which I don't know why you would do snagging in a fishing game, but anyway, anything that might harm the fish, that's probably out of the question. Now, they also said that that's why they didn't do like a fish trophy lodge, but they could do replicas and they seem kind of, I don't know, defiant against that particular idea, which I hope isn't going to remain the case because I would love to walk in a lodge and have my diamond largemouth in some kind of cool, like, you know, little terrain mount with, like, some rocks or underwater branches looking things. Maybe have it chasing a diamond, uh, black crappie or whatever. I just saw a black crappie posted on, um, on the angler's Twitter. I did not realize how big those diamonds are. They look cool. I want one. When I'm gonna get one, I got no idea. Wait. Smoke that tree, what'd you say? where the diamonds are. How many diamonds? Um, why am I lost? <laughs> 1,300, nope, 1,128. This number's off by 300. It's 300 above what it should be. The great one number's off for anybody. That, that happens every time I bring it up. Somebody asks how I have 20 great ones. I actually have three. Favorite TV show? Oh, God. I don't really watch TV. Sunday Night Football, no. Um, 
Is Alone a TV show? Does that count? I watch it on like Netflix or Discovery, whatever their streaming thing is, Discovery Plus, but I think it's TV. I fully expect a rework of that lever action. Doubt they ever planned on it being that powerful since they never buffed the 30 30 or 45 70. They, maybe they will. I, I think it's more about changing the 44 ammunition, and maybe if they were to do that, they'd also change the 357 and 454. I don't know that they would change the gun. Didn't we kill a pronghorn out here? I don't know. Not that important. How's your saddle treating you? Worth the investment? Been looking for years. I, I've really enjoyed hunting from it so far. I did, so I was going to hunt this morning, and I had a particular spot in mind where I was pretty confident I could get up in my saddle and hunt a spot that I had never been to before. This particular place, it was, it's right, so like, let's say this road right here is the creek. It's kind of right along the creek, but instead of these all being, what are these, like, birch or something? Oh, wait. What's the white? It's not birch. White bark. Ash. Aspen. Aspen, I think. Anyway. Um, pretend these are all like evergreens. So there was one tree at the very edge that's out past all those evergreen branches. And I thought I could get into that and be in the perfect spot. That tree was too big. Like, I couldn't reach my arms around to get my lineman's belt, let alone my uh, sticks around it. Now you, I know you're taller than me. You might have better reach than me. So slightly bigger trees you'll be able to get up than I can. But um, that's the one setback with it. Other than that, I love the versatility. I love being able to just get into basically any tree I want. Like I hunted Saturday with it at my parents' place. It was a spot that I wanted to go to and check out. And I was, there wasn't a better tree to be in. The deer just kind of went the wrong way. I couldn't have been closer to where they came out at. But um, it really, the thing I love about it, there's two things. Number one, even hunting private land, like I might run into a spot where I'm like, okay, this might be good. I don't want to put a tree stand there and spend, you know, who knows, hour, two hours setting it up, clearing shooting lanes, all that. I'll just go up the tree in 10 minutes with my saddle, hunt it. If I like it, maybe I will hang a stand there, but at least I can, I have a mobile spot to like figure those kinds of things out. And then it gives you that opportunity on public land, too. Clay Hayes for the win. Clay, was he the guy that got the blacktail? I don't even remember what last season was anymore. I don't think the guy's name was Clay, though. Doesn't take me long to forget stuff anymore. I think I'm getting old. Definitely Aspen. I figured it out. I got there. Brother got in a car accident. He's at Chapel Hill Hospital. Oh, goodness. I hope he's okay. I think the answer to the 44 is just make the power drop off. That is really all they need to do. Like I said, when they designed the rounds, the idea, like, you can only zero out the 75. The idea was probably for them to be close range rounds. Yeah, I think, I honestly think that bottom boy is a really good way to, to utilize it on private land. Because you can get, I don't know what they cost at Walmart. It's not terribly expensive. It's the, um, I can't think of the brand. I could probably look it up. They're not amazing, like, ladder sticks. But they're decent enough. They do an okay job. Let's do tree stand ladder sticks. Oh, it's the guide gear ones, I think. It's like 50 bucks. And it should get you up like 20 feet if you stretch them a little bit. It's probably 18 feet if you don't. That's, for most situations, I think that's plenty for a saddle. But the thing that's, you know, for 50 bucks... Let me do the math here. I'm trying to think. You add a tree stand on top of that. Maybe you're looking at like 150 per setup. Versus once you have the saddle, you could get three sets of sticks and you have three setups for the same price. Now you bought the saddle, that's something to keep in mind, but... I think private land saddle hunting is something that maybe doesn't get talked about as much, but it's actually, it's kind of awesome to have that versatility. 
Did they try to hunt a mountain lion with a bow? He's the season eight winner. Yeah, I think we're thinking of this, the same guy. You've been in a caribou hunt in real life. That's awesome. Is the 44 free? Like, the it's free in terms of in-game money. Once you've purchased the DLC, which obviously the DLC costs real money, you don't have to use in-game cash to buy it, but you do have to buy the DLC. Favorite diamond you've ever killed? Assuming super rares are allowed for this, the, um, the Pieball Diamond Gray Fox. How much will the DLC cost? They haven't said anywhere, but like every non-map DLC they've ever done costs $4.99. $3.99, sorry. Brain. $4. Can a bow kill a moose? Uh, whether we're talking about it in real life or in game, yes. I was going to ask which one you meant, but the answer is yes either way. Any idea on when those new items in Way the Hunter come out? Yeah, they haven't said anything yet. I never did look in their description. Sometimes they have things like that. Said coming soon, right? Of course, they have 12 other videos since then. Nah, nothing in the description to, to give that away. Would you rather try and kill a charging buffalo with a blow dart or defend yourself against aggressive goose with a grill spatula for four hours? Give me the geese. <laughs> I'm not I'm not killing a charging buffalo with with any kind of blow dart gun. I'll I'll smack a goose as many times as I have to. Holy, there's just, every time I think we're going to shoot one of them, just more and more come out of here. I want to get the heart shot. Needs to be set up just right. This is essentially like the hardest angle to heart shot a, a buffalo too. Will you notice me, please? Excuse me, sir. There you go. Kind of dropped his head down. I think, think we still got it. Ready for the werewolf hunt? I am excited. Been having a lot of fun with classic content, and um, I mentioned earlier, kind of accidentally recorded a video that I thought was going to be for tomorrow that's now going to be for Wednesday or Thursday. That was classic as well. It's been really fun with like the new lodge to kind of change things up and hunt some other things, but at the same time, I always love that break like around the end of October for... I don't know, two weeks, whatever it is, maybe a week and a half. I'm just like, werewolf fun. Always a good time. When are you going to get a great one, Black Bear? I'll be honest, I have not been very motivated to grind for anything as of late. I just enjoy this type of playstyle more. There probably will come a time where I'll decide I want to grind again. Maybe it's when the next great one species comes out. But, eh, we'll see. Classic being classic, you're right. Should the 30 out 6 and 44 be ethical for class 9? The challenge with class 9 is the range that it covers. You've got things as small as a lion, which is what, 600 pounds, 650 pounds? And then as big as a water buffalo. Is that the biggest? I think. 1,250 kilos, 2,700 pounds, somewhere in that range. I think on a lion, yeah, it'd be reasonable to use a 30 on 6. I think on a water buffalo, could a 30 on 6 kill a water buffalo? Yeah. Would it be the best thing to use on a water buffalo? Probably not. Good lord. <laughs> that thing's insane. Anyway, I think that's the challenge of it, but um, I think that's why it hasn't been buffed to class 9, because the other side of that spectrum, the big, big stuff. Favorite predator to use the e-collar for? Hmm. Probably like any kind of pack animal. Coyotes, jackal, those sorts of things is pretty cool. <laughs> no chance. Just literally from hip bone to shoulder blade. Do we claim the female? 
I guess. I don't remember doing it. 800 elephants were killed by a 7mm to the brain, so yeah, I'd imagine a 30-06 can kill a water buffalo. Pretty similar rounds? I mean... I guess if you're specifically going for brain shots. But it, can, I, like, it could kill a water buffalo with a long shot, too. It just won't be as quick and ethical a kill as you'd want. What's up, Camden? Where are you hunting tonight? We're going up to Mom and Dad's. Um, I haven't decided on which stand. Is probably going to end up being the same stand that, um, pretty much like the one archer stand you'll recognize. The one that I got my doe out of in 2021, the one that I got two does out of in 2020, the one that I spawn shot the doe out of in 2019, my first year filming. That one. It's, for whatever reason, the last two years, it hasn't produced as well, and I, I kind of don't want to go there tonight. But the wind's not good for much of anything else. Gonna play Farming Sim 22 this Sunday. The Farming Sim streams, unfortunately, are going to kind of be put on hold until next spring sometime. With hunting season and in stuff, and it, with football season being a, a thing as well. It's just, it's too much going on to be able to commit to a Farming Sim stream every week. Field Edge? Yeah, I, I could have just said that, huh? <laughs> that that would also work, yeah, that one. Got shot a deer this week on my compound bow, but I shot over. Oh, I got a shot. I thought you were. I thought you misspelled gut shot. Better that than what I read. Got a shot at a deer this weekend with my compound bow, but I shot over its back. That is an easy thing to do. I mean, they. Especially if you're not filming it, you can't see it as much when you watch back in slow motion or anything, but they really can, even at like 20 yards. They can drop a considerable distance. Your shot may have hit it if it was standing completely still. Maybe it ducked a little bit. But I mean, like I said, better that than a bad hit. No farming sim till seeding time. <laughs> I do label my stands by the deer killed or not killed there. <laughs> that stand where I almost got the bladed knife, like that. I do that too now that I, that I really think about it. I've never killed a deer from that stand. The amount of amazing encounters I've had, I've never killed a deer from it. Might have miscalculated that at the last second I realized, oh no, it's going down. We might have shot too low though, we'll see. What's up, K-Flow? Your videos are amazing, what? Thank you, I appreciate that. Got a shot of the doe this weekend, shot in between the spine of the lungs. That no man's land hit. The worst part is like they usually bleed enough and obviously you see where you hit to where you think it's gonna be a, a lethal hit. They're uh, absurdly tough though. I think, I don't want to give away too much here, but I think my brother's going to um, kind of feature a shot he made like that in his upcoming video. Not sure when that's going to come out, but he's gonna. it's kind of like a redemption story sort of thing. But anyway, he shot one like that, kind of that no man's land. Three weeks later? Three and a half weeks later, I filmed it. I didn't even know it, but I filmed it in the rut from like 100 yards away. You could still see the exit where the arrow came out. They're, they're so tough. Modern gym. <laughs> Modern gun, I got you. I've used a crossbow for five years. I want to get my first compound bow. Any recommendations? Uh, so there's a lot of... Like, if you buy... Any bow manufactured after, like, 2010. You're going to get a good quality piece of equipment. I would definitely look into the used market. Um... You can get what was like a $2,000 or $1,500 bow brand new, say five years ago, for like three, four hundred bucks. Usually with a sight, with an arrow rest, with arrows, the whole thing. So I would definitely look for something like that. As far as brands, I mean, like I said, any anything that's relatively new, like in the last 10 years, will be great. Hopefully it's the bladed 12 now. Could be the bladed 12, you never know. What kind of bow do you use? So I've got a Dart and Veracity. That's their uh, one of their two flagship bows this year. The main... So they have, they have two uh, new bows. The Veracity and the Prelude. The Prelude's a 32-inch axle-to-axle. The Veracity's 35. 
I personally shoot better with longer axle to axle bows. I think my form is probably not great, but I also, even if my form was perfect, I like to account for the fact that from a tree stand or from a saddle or from the ground leaning around trees and stuff, rarely can you have perfectly executed form when you're shooting a deer. I always find that like I gotta lean around a limb, I gotta, you know, I gotta shoot from sitting and kind of like angle myself. It's just, there's always something. And the thing about that longer axle to axle distance is it's a little more forgiving, you know, for slight imperfections in form or anything like that. So I love a longer axle to axle bow for that. That's not to say I won't shoot a shorter axle to axle bow in the future, but at least for my current bow and my, uh, my 2023 setup, Brass 35 it is. Go for Matthews or Hoyt. Matthews, Hoyt, Bowtech. Um, what's the ones? Prime, I think, makes decent bows. I've been really happy with Darton's bows. We've been shooting Darton for the last couple years. Like I said, it's hard to go wrong. It really is. They are, to a degree, you get what you pay for. I don't think you get what you pay for when you buy a new bow. They depreciate like nuts. Again, if you buy a bow that's three, four years old, you're getting like a 60% discount most times. Uh, Camden, thank you for the super chat, by the way. I'm not sure if that alert's going to play. I hope it does. What's up, Call the Wild Guy? Elite has some good bows? I'm trying to think if I'm familiar with Elite. I bet I am. Ah, so close. No! <laughs> that was almost perfect. Is that a male? Holy, bear grinding. Not bear grinding. Hey, we hit it. There was an alert, by the way. That was an incredible display of how not to lead an animal with this thing. Oh, he stopped. What did I miss? Uh, not as much as I just missed. I bet that's gonna kill him, but it might take a while. Clay Hayes teaches how to make primitive bows. I'd love to make a primitive bow someday. That would be cool. Someone say my name? Just, just thinking about you. What's <laughs> up, just have fun. Wish you good luck on this hunt and fun stream. Thank you, man. Very much appreciated. Good to see you, by the way. Were the 300 Blackout 458 SOCOM, am I saying that right? And 350 Legend Chambered in a yard be good addition to Call of the Wild. I imagine, like, any kind of variety in, in weapon selection and stuff I always think is good. I imagine they'd, they'd find a way to, uh, to give each gun their niche like they typically do. That's awesome, K Flow. Thanks for the time you spend on all these videos for us all. Well, thank you guys for watching. Otherwise, I'd just be a goober talking into a microphone. What's the new lever action rated for? Classes 3 to 8. So we're talking everything from Bobcats and Lynx, Black Buck, Axis Deer, all the way up to Elk, Moose, Gemsbuck, things like that. Didn't need to add those last two words. That's all right. I add way too many words anytime I talk. Is that that one I missed? How about you don't get away next time? Can you do a realistic hunt and call the wild sometime? I was talking about this earlier a little bit. Um, since I do film my real life hunts now, anytime I try to do a realistic hunt video, I just kind of feel silly. So I'll, I'll probably stick to self-filming my real life hunts for any kind of realistic stuff and less realism in Call of the Wild for, for the gaming side of things. How much money do you have? $12. I'm assuming you're actually talking about real life. Or not real life. 
I'm assuming you're talking about in game. 28 mil. Just a small loan, as you might say. Interest interestingly, are both cougar and lion class not animals? Cougar are five. Lions are nine. Um, I feel like lions are nine almost out of like respect, if that makes sense. Like, I, I think they should, I think they could reasonably be class eight. I would enjoy IRL hunting videos. Well, there are, it's gotta be upwards of like 50 or 60 on this channel from the last four years. About to start my fifth year self filming. I mean, I have filmed some this year. I just haven't gotten the videos out. Starting soon. Like whisper ass aspect. Hello everyone. This is the Hunter TD33. He doesn't whisper. He kind of whispers. Anyway. I'd like to think that most of your videos for Call of the Wild are more IRL based than most. I feel like I try to do things that make, like every now and then we do something for fun. But I do feel like I try to do things that would make sense in real life. Like in Classic, the way I take trophy shots, even as simple as that. I do try to like pose it like I would do or like I have seen trophy shots done in real life. Trying to keep a secret in here that I'm DD33. A lot of people thought DD was my brother, interestingly enough. <laughs> That's true, Clark. That is the, that could be an aspect of it. It feels weird that 3:51 p.m. is like almost end of the stream, but there are deer out there that must be shoosted. Wrong gun, but we're gonna use it anyway. Wait, no, this is it. No, I have the 300 now. Never mind. I see what's going on. Well, I had the 4570 for a little bit. Call the Wild should add water vehicles? There's been a lot of talk about, like, inflatable rafts or just some way of crossing bigger bodies of water. It would be nice. Any Ticket Moon planes coming out soon? I do need to get back on that map. This is where I struggle with Wade Hunter. What was the last thing we did? It was Aurora Shores, I think? I was talking about trying to age that Melanistic Moose up because I feel like of the... I guess now three rares that we're watching. Albino, Whitetail, and Nez. Mellow Moose on Aurora. Albino, Red Deer on Transylvania. The two Albinos look to be probably sub 50%. The Melanistic Moose, I feel like, is 70, 80 plus. So I do want to age him up. And obviously limited time this time of year. Whoa. Now I got to that screen. So we'll see. I, I, I gotta get back to take him in a little bit. Headed the dad's night, bad wind for my saddle setup, so I'm just going scouting in a place that I haven't been all season. You know what they say. First sit in a stand. Often the best one. Technically it's supposed to be first sit in a new stand, but we're gonna we're gonna be optimistic and say first sit of the year. That's a big mail. Did you check my cams yesterday? Giant coyote that shall be shoosted if he shows? We got a big one around here too. There's a big one at my mom and dad's as well. I just feel like they're becoming more and more prevalent. Dead bear? Dead bear. Sounds good, Camden. Appreciate you hanging out. I have a 12 pointer that's about six years old. Should I shoot it? I mean, I would certainly be trying to. I have bad wind and don't feel like headed to public, so we're gonna take the evening off. You gotta do that as, like, this happens every year to me. At the end of the year, I look back on some of the days I didn't go, and typically it's either 75 degrees or it's, you know, swirling winds, 20 mile an hour winds, days like that. But I always look back and think, if I'd have just gone, you know, three more days or something, maybe it would have been a different result. The thing is, if you don't take, like, some evenings off, I feel like it just becomes such a slog. Is this a bear grind? I guess it is now. Rancher could have some species added to it. I like the, the mountain lion idea. That would be pretty cool. 
The PS5 version of the elephant map? Elephant map. I'm, miss I'm missing something here. I think we might have two games being confused or something. What you mean, Shadow Raven? It's a weird place to flee from. Almost like there's a mountain lion down here, but there shouldn't be. Okay, I don't understand why that didn't... Oh, no, I do. That's a throwback right there. So I tried to get a brain shot on the move. And the bullet, I'm pretty sure, went through its head without impacting it. Back in the good old days, a uh, quick kill. When Plains Bison came out on Yukon Valley, one of the concerns was bringing them down fast enough to get full quick kill. And one of the consistent ways to do so was a brain shot. Back then, you could do that. There was the problem with broadside brain shots. The bullet would just go through the head and never impact it. I think that's exactly what just happened, and I guess that's still in the game. What's up, Joe? Weekend was good. Uh, got to spend some time watching football. Steelers won, even though they shouldn't have. We'll take it. Hunting on Saturday was alright. Like, I came close to getting a deer from the saddle, which was pretty cool. Not that I got the full draw, but I felt like I was in the right area. They were coming on this perfect path to 10 yards, and for whatever reason, they cut down the hill and away from me instead of up the hill towards the cornfield. But, is what it is. Brother got another one already. Is Ticket Moon Plains better than Call of the Wilds Africa? I think there's aspects of it that are. I don't know that I would say, like, wholesale it is. Is that the right word? I think so. Um, the species selection is better. I think the terrain and stuff is better. I would probably say, like, as far as Call of the Wild side of things, some of the models I kind of prefer, like the, the Gemsbuck, for instance, there's that realism side of it where the females have the straight horns and the males have the curved horns. I want to say all the Gemsbuck in Way the Hunter have curved horns. Stuff like that. Got some leftovers of last year's venison and made some enchiladas. Ooh. I'll be over in five minutes. Going after bucks or does this year, IRL? I mean, always both. Um, managing your doe population is, is really key to having a healthy buck population. Too few does. There's no bucks around. Too many does. Bucks don't like the social pressure and they'll move kind of on the outskirts. So... That and the fact that, basically, like, how many hunters are there? Me, my dad, my brother, myself, Kyla, brother's wife. Sister kind of hunts a little bit, and then my sister's fiance hunts a lot. I didn't count, I just named people, that was dumb. Three, four, five. Let's say six that hunt a lot. We basically, like, split the venison between everybody. So, we gotta get some does, or we don't have enough venison to get through the year. Are there any animals you want to call the wild? I still think doll sheep would be amazing. Kinda surprises me we've never gotten them, but doll sheep would be my number one. The Steelers offense scored just enough points for Matt Canada to not get fired. I literally told my dad, I think it was Saturday night because we were up there hunting. I told my dad, like, I kind of hope the Steelers lose because I think they'll fire Matt Canada. But this is exactly the type of game that they win for no reason. And he's going to retain his job, and here we are. I need to add Elephant Hippo to 375 h and &H. Would be interesting if they added elephants to this game. There was talk about um, Ultimate Hunting having elephants, and now we're not sure if Ultimate Hunting is going to come out. But I imagine if a game adds elephants, they get a lot of attention. Don't you think the 44 rifle should be a little bit toned down? Realistically, probably. But I do kind of like that there's like a reason to use it. Wish we had enough land to hunt here. A massive herd of muley that I've never been able to take a full count of comes through my yard basically every day. Growing a garden was a nightmare. Oh, I can only imagine. I've seen like a lot of videos and photos of lots of mule deer in yards like that. They're, they're crazy the way they do that. 
1710 doesn't seem like a good enough job to keep your position. Not only that, they scored 15 as an offense. It was one touchdown with a failed two-point conversion. That'd be six, right? And three field goals. They had a safety, which I think that could have been ruled a touchdown. His elbow was down in bounds, like right as he possessed the ball. If the call on the field was touchdown, I think it would have stood. Anyway. One particular buck that's an absolute monster. If people could hunt him, I'm sure he'd score way up there. I thought we had turkeys. <laughs> we have turkey decoys. I do. Big mule deer are so cool. One day. One day I'd like to hunt him. What is Ultimate Hunting? It was a game that was it was announced like three years ago. It was supposed to come out. It's still kind of... They post updates here and there, but they don't seem very close to release. Anyway. We are in fact going to wrap up the stream with that, so got to take one final look at the new items coming with the Ambusher Pack that comes out tomorrow. Hopefully, tomorrow's video is going to be a real life hunting video. Hopefully Wednesday, we'll get to kind of hunt for real with this pack. I still don't know if our progress counts. If it does, we have that diamond secret here with the recurve. So the only like, you know, we try to get a diamond with every weapon. The only weapon that we would need would be the 44. Depends on if the progress counts, but... We shall worry about that for later on. Kyle and I are going to go climb a tree and see if we can smoke a deer. But anyway, that's going to do it. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the support. And I'll see you in that real life hunting video tomorrow. Bye.